the angel is now the angel of the lord declared unto mary hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus behold the handmaid of the lord hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus and the word was made flesh hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus pray for us o holy mother of god let us pray for forth we say to your lord your grace into our hearts that we through the incarnation of christ your son was made known by the messenger of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We begin our celebration invoking the blessings of the Holy Trinity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all good afternoon friends welcome to our celebration this afternoon today we have the celebration or the mass of our holy blessed mother as we conclude this month the month of october which is dedicated to the holy rosary so we prayed uh, the, the holy rosary asking our holy blessed mother to intercede before god for all our needs so god has been so kind uh, in doing that because our holy blessed mother is the first one who did the will of the father in heaven saying yes to angel gabriel to receive the lord and carrying the lord as well therefore my brothers and sisters let us continue to pray to our holy blessed mother asking our blessed mother to look after us strengthen us look after the world look after australia and our families everyone individually and our holy blessed mother will definitely journey with us so also we pray for our personal intentions today and uh, we have the to, we have the intention of janush uh, podineshki uh, Uh, and we pray that god may offer him god's eternal rest also zulmira korea and children and we pray that god may bless them to take part in this sacred mystery is worthy dear friends now we think of our own failures and we ask god's pardon and mercy you were sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy You came to call sinners Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. May our almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant Lord God that we your servants may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body and through the glorious intercession of blessed mary of a virgin we may be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Philippians Christ is proclaimed 
and that makes me happy. And I shall continue being happy because I know this will help to save me. Thanks to your prayers and to the help which will be given to me by the Spirit of Jesus. My one hope and trust is that I shall never have to admit defeat, but that now, as always, I shall have the courage for Christ to be glorified in my body, whether by my life or by my death. Life to me, of course, is Christ, but then death would bring me something more. But then again, if living in this body means doing work which is having good results, I do not know what I should choose. I am caught in this dilemma. I want to be gone and be with Christ, which would be very much the better, but for me to stay alive in this body is a more urgent need for your sake. This weighs with me so much that I feel sure I shall survive and stay with you all and help you to progress in the faith and even increase your joy in it. And so you will have another reason to give praise to Christ Jesus on my account when I am with you again. The word of the Lord. My soul is thirsting for the living God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving. Alleluia, alleluia. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Now, on a Sabbath day, Jesus had gone for a meal to the house of one of the leading Pharisees, and they watched him closely. He then told the guests a parable, because he had noticed how they picked the places of honor. He said this, When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take your seat in a place of honor. A more distinguished person than you may have been invited and the person who invited you both may come and say give up your place to this man and then to your embarrassment you would have to go and take the lowest place no when you are a guest make your way to the low, lowest place and sit there so that when you, your host comes he may say, my friend, move up higher. In that way, everyone who, rather, in everyone with you at the table will see you honored. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the man who humbles himself will be exalted. Friends, the saving gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The humble will be made great. My brothers and sisters in Christ, you know about, I think, Pope John the 23rd. And he was a remarkable and also remarkable person, also who had been a very, very down to earth and humble as well. His nickname was Johnny Walker. It doesn't mean that he consumed uh, Johnny Walker whiskey, but he used to uh, go along the streets in Vatican practically every night to meet people, probably the poor ones. So he was named as uh, Johnny Walker because he used to walk at night. Now, 
one of his first acts as pope was to visit Regina Coeli, a large Roman prison. Now, he, uh, the Holy Father told the prisoners that as a boy, he learned how serious a jail sentence was. And he said again that his own cousin was imprisoned and he had to be in that prison for some time. Now, the Vatican News reported that uh, no, the, the Holy Father visited the, the prison, but the paper did not mention about his cousin being imprisoned. Because for the simple reason, the ordinary people might get disturbed uh, to see that and to hear that Holy Father's cousin was imprisoned and so on. But he was bold enough to say that in public. Even my cousin had to know, uh, uh, had to be in the prison, prison as well. Now, the question that we could constantly ask ourselves would be, my brothers and sisters, do we pretend to be more than we are to impress other people? And the prayer that we need to constantly pray would be that, Lord, help us realize that when we try to impress others, that's usually the impression we make. God bless you. Amen. We'll offer the bread and wine to the Lord and also we offer our intentions, our prayers to the Lord, asking the good Lord to bless our, all our intentions, our prayers. Blessed I, Lord God, for creation, for through your goodness of this bread to offer which earth has given and human hand, hands have made till become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share the dignity of Christ who humbled himself in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, till become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God wash your money, cleanse and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on, uh, on the veneration of our Holy Blessed Mother. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived the only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Archbishop, Don, his auxiliary, and all the clergy, religious, and God's loving people and children. We remember your servant, Janusz, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our other brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Paripso metkum ipso ete hini ipso Estib deo patri omnipotenti in unitate spiritu sancti omnes Oh, no, rent gloria. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, friends, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe all and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, friends. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy. Thank you. The word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to Christ.
So let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech you, Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you very much. God bless you all, friends.